Welcome back. Welcome back to The Walking Dead episode 3 and I just accidentally paused it and we're searching for sh shit to take. Take that. Supplies. Medicine bottle. Medicine bottle. Supplies. Supplies. Medicine box. Oh, so many supplies. We're gonna be rich with supplies right here. We're being chased by zombies because I chose to shoot a girl instead of letting her be mauled by zombies. Come on, Lee. Which might have been a bad choice. Over. But I feel like it was the humane thing to do. How do I jump? Oh, okay. Jump over counter. Oh no! Oh Jesus! Zombie door. Can he help? Don't leave me to Oh, I swear to God, Kenny, if you leave, we're 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 over. We are no longer best friends if you do that. Fridge. Fridge. Oh, tip over to the fridge. Oh god. This could have been peaceful if I hadn't made that decision. What do I do? What do I do? Uh oh. Ugh. Clock. Deck him again. Deck him again. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Bye. And you're done, zombie. That was close. Zombies are really kind of pitiful when they're on a pole like that. You took care of yourself, didn't you? You're a bitch, Kenny. And there was just a lightning strike outside. How pleasant. If this video ends up getting split up, it's because of that damn hurricane. It, it's not even touching Alabama that bad. Yet here I am, hearing a thunderstorm outside. Hopefully it doesn't mess anything up. I was worried about doing that with Uncharted earlier. Which may or may not be up by the time this goes up. Well, we made it. Good job, Kenny, and good job, Lee. Nobody looks happy. Not even the kids. Their smiles are gone. You're back. Ben found some stickers in a drawer, and I put them on my walkie. Aww. That's neat. I'll find you in a minute. Looks like we got the kid on watch again. What'd you get? We might as well leave a sign out that says the men are gone. Come and rape our women and children. Hey, don't say that about Ben. He's a nice guy. So, what did you get? Well, it was a lot of stuff. Well, not quite. We got some stuff, not a ton. Half of it's probably expired. There just wasn't a lot left. This it? Yeah, well, we've been picking Macon clean for weeks. We need to go. Fuck. Which is why I've been saying, and I don't want to sound like a broken record here, but we gotta hit the road. Because I agree with Kenny on this. Be with you after what you did to my dad is so appealing. Why wouldn't it be? You know, I'll do what it takes to keep everyone safe. We're all we do whatever is best for the kids. Take a look at the wall, Lily. That's not graffiti. Those are bullet holes. And we got enough arrow shafts sticking out of it to dry our laundry. We do whatever is best for the kids. Doesn't that make sense? It's suicide out there. We'll die in here. It's suicide in here. You could see someone sleeping and kill one of us. At it again, are we? Can it, Carly? Don't boss people around. I'm We're sorry. the strongest together. Somebody needs to make executive decisions for the group, though. And I don't think you're capable anymore. We're strongest together. I know you think I'm on her side, but there are no sides, damn it. What about the food situation? What about protection? What about when this place falls? Somebody's got to be thinking about this shit. How has this not been working? We have everything we need. Because of me, Lily. No. Because Lee knows how to take care of people. 
not just things. We, we deal, deal with this shit as it comes. Things, just like we always do. And when 15 bandits hop over that wall in the middle of the night? What then? You just gonna deal with that? Everything that happens to us is another excuse for you to pull this crap about leaving. All I want is a week of peace, of not hearing it. We wouldn't even be fighting about our medicine and supply stocks if Lee hadn't fucked up downtown. What do you mean? Some girl came screaming out of an alley. She had dead hanging. Oh, it's always her. my fault, she isn't it, Kenny? Enough noise that we would have had plenty of time to get what we needed. Instead, smart guy shot her. He what? He put her out of her misery. I couldn't let her suffer. I couldn't let her suffer. We're all suffering. Some more than others. We've been putting our lives on the line doing these runs into the city. You wouldn't believe the shit we see. We all appreciate it, Ken. Y'all should be giving Lee hell for not doing what needed to be done. It's not so easy for him. Thank you. I appreciate Look, someone siding with me for once. Aren't savable. It's not a town. It's full of walkers. And the people who were left are dying and wandering out onto the streets. It's hell on earth. And it's coming. This way. It's not going to be easier out on the road! How would you know? What I know? I know you're not above murder. I know somebody has been stealing our supplies. That's right, stealing. And I know the list of people I can trust here gets smaller every day. Now everybody get out. Seems like she's about to snap. Bad blood. Happy Kenny. Happy Kenny. My family's alive and that RV is running. You goddamn right I am. Everyone is under great stress. All I know is, whenever this shit happens, I'm the fucking bad guy. I'd like a thank you for once. For once! Thank you, Kenny. Thank you. Ooh, things are coming to a head. Yeah. Say that. <laughs> well, I think you did good today. And I find myself thinking that most days. Thanks. It's probably worth following up with Lily about what she was saying about missing supplies. With her wound up the way she is, I don't want to see her paranoid. No question. She'll kill someone. And I'd like to talk when you've got a minute. Alrighty, I think we get to start talking to people. Oh, is that a romance interest I'm thinking about? Or that I'm seeing there? Hmm? Hmm? Where is Clementine? Hotel looks horrible compared to what it was at the episode one. Where is everybody? Oh, there's Ben. Hi, Ben. Hey, Ben. What's up, Lee? Did you ever come to Macon much? Did you ever come down here to Macon much? I didn't have much reason to. My parents would let me take the car into the city on the weekend. But what's in Macon? It's kind of a waste of time compared to Atlanta. I grew up in Macon. Oh. I didn't mean to say it's crappy or anything. It's I know nice. what you mean. I mean, not now, but I bet it was. Is... See anything weird on watch? Have you seen anything weird on watch? Is there anybody out there up to anything? Nope. Really quiet. Really? Yeah, totally. Which is good. What do you think about Lily? What do you think about Lily? She scares the crap out of me. That's a reasonable thing to feel. <laughs> I'm just worried she's going to snap. And kill Talk someone. To you later, ben. Bye. Oh. There's Kenny and Katya. And there's Carly up there. Hey, you two. How are you doing? We're okay. Just having a little spat. We all carry guns now, and I don't like it. It's the way it's gotta be. I know, but I'm yeah. not getting used to it. I'm sorry. How gotta agree you? with Kenny there. You need to try harder with Lily. You need to try harder with Lily. You guys gotta straighten this out. I don't know how straight we can get it, given all that's happened. So what then? Time will come, we'll have to do what's best for our families. And that's what we'll do. That's bleak. 
About the guns. About the guns. Don't you start. I just wanted to say, Cat, it's probably good they make you uncomfortable. Thank you, Lee. <sighs> but we need them. There's no doubt about that. You guys trust yes. everyone here? Trust everyone here? More or less. I obviously have my problems with Lily, but I don't distrust her. Yeah, we can't turn on each other any more than we have. I'll talk to you later. Alright, let's go talk to Carly. And then maybe I'll be able to find Clementine somewhere. Where's Duck? I haven't seen Duck anywhere. Just since we're thinking about Clementine. No, nope. not yet. I will. What I wanted to say was, I've been thinking a lot about you. Oh, romance. I think about you too. I think about you too. We're having a moment here. Our group is small. You're small. You're a convicted killer. Carly, Jesus. And I think people Jesus. Know, not because they deserve to, and not because you're a bad man. I think the opposite of those two things. People need to know because we're hanging by a thread here, and I can't see Lily talk about you without thinking it's the next thing she's going to say. You don't have to tell everyone, but think about who you trust and take the opportunity while you have it. It's a lifetime ago. It was a lifetime ago. Which is only going to make the feeling that you hid it and that there was even more to hide that much worse. People might be pissed, and telling them might cause some trouble, but it will be a far cry from what'll happen if they don't hear it from you. Yeah. That's true. She so got a point. I'll let people know. I'll let people know. You're totally right. Good. I think it's for the best. Call me small. <laughs> Ooh. Now, is there anything else you want to talk about? You think people are ready to hear about me? Think people are ready to hear about me. It's not a matter of ready or not. There's never going to be a good time, but there are going to be a lot of bad ones. Right now, it doesn't seem like one of them. But everyone's different. Who knows how each person would take it? You know, maybe it's worth thinking about who you want to tell. Do you have any thoughts about Lily? You, uh, have any thoughts about Lily? I worry about her, that's about it. She keeps trying to run things, but it's just not working. Do you feel, feel safe, safe here? Show me a bath with a heated floor and a high-rise apartment and hand me a full-bodied Malbec and then I'll feel safe. I don't know, this place is fine, but we all know that that could change at any second. I'm gonna look into this thing. Good idea. Okay, alright, this is where we're getting the part. When we come back next time, we'll probably talk to Lily and figure out who we're going to tell about Lee's past. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching.